I'm Nakano. I'm from Japan. I was born and raised in Takayama, which is a very small town in Japan. And I started my career in Ibaraki, working for the restaurant also named as Kisaku. I really like the name of the restaurant I used to work for in Japan, so I uh, asked them to use their name as my restaurant. Basically means easygoing, frank, you know, down to earth. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to be. Yeah. Miso soup is the, it's a soup widely served in Japan, pretty much with any kind of meal. Like, I usually eat with my breakfast, almost any, any kind of dinner combination, lunch combination. It's basically, it's a family food, you know, it's a home cooking. So if you eat three times at home, you definitely have three times a day. Any region, any household, a different style. So as long as you, uh, you know, make the broth part, correctly, you can just do whatever you want after that, you know. You know, you actually start the water with the kombu in it, and then you want to boil the water with the kombu first. Kombu actually contains a lot of the uh, amino acid to give you a depth of the flavor that the bonito itself doesn't give you. So uh, adding a kombu in it, it gets a little bit more body on the soup. When you see enough kombu, kombu's flavor in the uh, broth, you add the uh, bonito in it, and immediately turn the heat really weak. Otherwise, you boil it with the, you know, with the high heat a long time. The bonito give you a little bit of the kind of bitterness. That's just basically, you know, heart of the uh, Japanese food. You cook most of the food with dashi. So you cook vegetable, you cook with dashi. You make soup, you make with dashi. It's kind of, you know, soup base. Miso soup usually has some vegetable tofu or sort of some sort of the vegetable protein. Plus it has no fat. We usually serve it very simple. Basically it's a wakame, seaweed, scallion, and tofu. But you know, you can do a whole bunch of other stuff like my kids really like the potato miso soup at my home. So uh, when we do it, we cook the potato first. We make a soup and uh, put the potato in it. So, you know, it really depends on whatever you want to put in it. So you simmer it with a low heat while you rest of the process. Then you add some uh, miso in it to the flavor you want. But you have to be careful, like, you know, miso, sometimes miso is not completely dissolved when you taste it. And after all the, you know, chunk of miso is getting dissolved, it get saltier. So you gotta be careful. Usually, when I do it, I stop before it's completely there. Because, you know, I'm dissolved, miso is gonna be eventually dissolved in the soup. Yeah, then, yeah, for lunch, for dinner, steamed rice, miso soup. And one or two vegetable dishes, that's it. So miso soup is a huge part of our meal, anytime. <laughs>